Dude, I was thinking, you know, now's a good time to take up Muay Thai. Because you figure it'll be at least two weeks before anybody tries throwing the leg kick right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, easily, easily. <laughs> Hey guys, we wanted to try something new. We wanted to do a recap and, yep. um, you know, starting 2014, Jesse and I are going to make ourselves a little bit more accountable for uh, who we Our pick. picks. Yep. Yeah. So we're going to keep score. We're going to start keeping score. We nice. thought we'd try this new format out on you today. So we go back through the fights, take a look at who we picked, mm -hmm. if we did, and then see how we did. Sometimes it's hard to pick because we're just, we get so wrapped up when we're talking about that we yeah. forget. So our apologies. Yeah, so what was the first fight? Well, the first one we had was uh, Robert Peralta versus Esteban Payan. Uh, and yeah. uh, we both, uh, you know, went with uh, Robbie Peralta. Uh, yeah, we, higher we, ranked. Yeah, higher ranked. And it's just, it just looked much better in his last fight. And uh, we both, you know, we both got that one. Yep, third uh, third round, 12 seconds into the third yep. round, he gets the, the knockout. Yep, yep. Uh, up, up up above that was uh, William Macario. Macario. Uh, versus Bobby Volker and uh, you know we both pick uh, William and Bobby yeah, might be getting Volker you know, was on the chopping yeah. block I'm sure that uh, they'll announce him getting cut yep, yep. Hey, just hey you know not everybody's supposed to be in the UFC right now yeah. yep I mean it, that division is just stacked yeah. uh, up above that was John Howard Doomsday versus Sire yeah first Fadis of Ruff. the prelims yeah and mm -hmm. um, that one you know it went to distance uh, John Howard just looked much much more crisper. I just felt like Sayer wasn't that. He wasn't. Man, I got that one wrong. I thought Sayer was gonna spank him. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, I, I, I did pick John Howard because he's just the freaking beast. But you know, that was not the regular Sayer that we, we were used to seeing. You know, yep. he just. He just looked like he was uh, just out of it, I guess. Yeah, like he was dealing with like a staph infection or, or something. something. Who knows? Uh, up next was uh, Dennis Seaver versus Manny Gamburian. Uh, yeah. We both had uh, Dennis Seaver. That guy's just on another level. Yeah, he's just, I mean, he's just been going up against mm -hmm. a higher level mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. guy, you know, and, you know, he's been fighting lightweights mm -hmm. and doing pretty well. So and I, I mean and that that he's just got vicious kicks. I mean you just yeah. man. Gambarian, you know, he fared pretty well against him. Yeah, he did yeah. pretty good. He did pretty good. But I mean the competition that uh that Dennis Seaver has been facing is just much you know, yeah. just higher. Um then uh up after that was uh Michael Johnson versus uh Gleason Tabo. Uh that uh, one that one caught me by surprise. It really did. Gosh. You know, uh, I was I was thinking that Johnson uh, might have been in over his head mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because T. Bow is like we said, seven, yeah. seven years staple, staple. You know, and uh, but he showed everybody mm -hmm. just what level he's at, he, and he continues to get better every yeah. fight. I mean, his uh, wow. his, his striking's got his. You know what? I mean, look at the way he finished J Lo, and his striking did look better this time than last time. Uh, up next was. Uh, Uriah Hall versus Chris Lieben. What can we say? Dana got what he asked for. You know, you know he, he backed him up against the corner mm -hmm. and he delivered. Yep. All delivered. I know? mean, Chris is a freaking warrior. And for him to just say, I'm done. I'm not even coming out for the second round. Yeah. That that He must have been really hurt. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure really. Lieben will announce his retirement. Yeah. yeah. Up next, uh, Dustin <clears throat> Diamond Poirier versus Diego Brandao. Woo! Yeah. Uh, Man. First fight on the... Uh, pay -per -view. On the pay-per-view, yeah, I mean, I mean, Dustin just, man, he just dusted, you know, uh, uh, Diego. And, uh, you know, a little bit of a backstory on this. Uh, a lot of people were wondering why Dustin was so mad at the weigh-ins. It wasn't so much because Diego Brandon missed weight. It was because when they were standing in line to come out, you know, to get weighed in, uh, Diego says something to the effects of, you know, you look at me like that one more time and I'm going to stab you. So, note to yourself, if you're going to fight Dustin Poirier, don't threaten that you're going to stab him in the neck. Yeah. I mean, he came out vicious. Yeah, he delivered uh, mm -hmm. Brandao, mm -hmm. obviously. You know, even though uh, Brandao lost the fight, Poirier is the one that actually got the medical suspension. Yeah, least, go figure. His shoulder uh, is messed up. Uh, but that was a really, really good fight. Yeah. Um, then uh, Jim Miller versus uh, Fabrizio Camones. 
Um, yeah, you know, we called that as yep. a gimme fight for yep. Miller, and uh, just as we figured, you yep. know, first round submission. Submission, yeah. boom. Easy. You know? I mean, he wants, he's got that arm bar and he's got that guillotine. He, you're, you're pretty much done. Yeah. This one surprised me. Travis Brown versus Josh Barnett. Wow. I'll tell you, man, I stood next to both those guys, and Travis Brown is 6'7, and he is intimidating. Uh, and unbelievable. Huge. I mean, he's so, it's just like he said. He is new school. He is a mixed martial artist. Mm -hmm. he, he's one of the new breed. Uh, I mean, he 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 brought it to Josh. I mean, and I, you know, just like you said, oh, you want to go up against the fence? All right, let's go Brandon up against the fence. Brandon Schaub, the hybrid. That yeah. dude is the hybrid. Yeah, I mean, man. Uh, oh I mean, my gosh. Uh, Josh is no slouch. He is no pushover. Yeah. I mean, and he he finished Josh. I mean, he's, you know, Josh been up against the greats in pride and look at him. He, he just, you know, stand and deliver. Uh, he, he had no answer for, nope. I'm going to crush your skull with, with my uh, with elbows. elbows. I mean, yeah. it was just vicious. Uh, up next, Ronda Rousey versus Misha Tate, the best friends, the BFFs. <laughs> uh, we both said, we both called it. Well, I mean, you know. yeah, I, I got to say, though, Misha really. Stand up was really good. She took good. Ronda longer than anyone's mm -hmm. taken her. She, she, she rocked, rocked her, her a, a bit couple times. On her feet. Yep. And she got out of a lot of submission yeah. attempts. Wow, there'd be some high level grappling going on. There. You could tell that she's really worked out from yeah. the last fight. And um, you know, I, I, I think I think we'll see Misha Tate in title contention again, you know, sometime soon. Uh, you know, she gave her a war, you know, yeah. and up and until Rosie's already been matched up with Sarah McMahon yep. at USC one seven. Looking so forward to that. Getting right into it. Yep. Um, I think a lot of people actually called that. We mm -hmm. even said that uh, Sarah McMahon was higher rank. And but, higher rank, exactly. You were right. Then the uh, main event. Oh, oh my goodness! I God. sure do hope uh, Anderson Silva. I mean, it was just terrible. I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, it was just. fluke. I mean, I I thought that knockout that I saw once. Uh, I forgot the guy who Tank For, Abbott hit. Yeah. I mean, but this is just this is to another level. This yeah. is just. I mean, it was just gruesome to watch. Oh. Um, but you know what? Uh, you know. Weedman's a legit. That's it. Yeah. You now know? we get to see um, if Vitor Belfort is going to be able to uh, handle him. Yep. I personally think he will. Stop the takedowns so, and everything. Boy, a lot of these guys, you know, we got, who, who do we think they're going to fight next? You know, uh, if we start up uh, all the way at the top, we know that uh, Weedman's going to fight Belfort. Yep. Belsey's going to fight McMahon. Yep. Uh, going down the line, um, Travis Brown, we know, is going to fight for Doom. Mm -hmm. Whoever wins goes yep. up against Kane. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And... Um, you you were you were mentioned that you really like Miller versus uh, Michael uh, Johnson. You really like that. Yeah. Well, you figure you know both the guys just fought on this card, mm -hmm. and, uh, and Johnson nailed it. has been impressively beating people. Mm -hmm. I think Johnson and Miller makes a great, great, uh, really good matchup. And then um, we we pretty much Poirier. Uh, Poirier, yeah. A lot of interesting matchups. You a can lot make of there. potential matchup. Yeah. One of my favorites. Once he gets better. Conor McGregor. And then you got um, Uriah Hall. Yeah. Several uh, matchups you can make there. Mm -hmm. Alan Belcher. Mm -hmm. uh, um, Gracie. Yeah, Hydra Gracie. And um, Kung Lee, Mr. Kung Sling Lee. Kick. I mean, Kung Lee would be nice because they would they would keep it up. Yeah, you know, I have to worry about the ground. That, that, uh, Kung Lee, Uriah Hall. I think that would be pretty sweet. Yeah. Like, uh, Uriah Hall actually advanced further up in the rankings mm -hmm. than any other fighter in the UFC last Saturday. Uh, he was uh, in the 70s, and now he's in the 30s. Well, you saw what he did in the, in the tough. He's no joke. He, it wasn't yeah. a fluke. He finished, yeah. which is nice. And then, uh, uh, I mean... Howard, we could match him up against a bunch of the... Kyle Gesselum, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, um, I can see Kyle... Uh, no, I mean, Kel, uh, Kelvin Gesselum. Uh -huh. uh, the Ultimate, Ultimate Fighter, fighter. Yeah, mm -hmm. That'd be a good one. Uh, Mike Pierce, mm -hmm. Jordan Mean. Marquardt, I guess. Marquardt. I think that might be it. That yeah. would be an excellent fight because, once again, one guy's going to try and sub you and one guy's going to try and knock you off. Yeah. You know, so, it, it, it. I mean, so many really great possibilities. Oh, and then Peralta. But mm -hmm. I'll tell you, the kid has been moving up. People don't realize... He's like, now he's ranked at number 19 mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. He could go up against Korean Zombie, mm -hmm. who's 18. That would be good. But you know what would be really cool is this other kid, Ninimaki. That's the one guy you were saying that he's... He's a... won his last 12 fights. Wow. And he won his debut, mm -hmm. and he's just slaying dudes. And they look a, very similar to one another, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so that's all we got. And uh, next time, we're not going to do a breakdown for this fight night, mm-hmm. but all my money's on Tarek Safadine, man. Yep. Team Quest, brother. Yep. Team Quest. Yep. And I know he's probably training with Heath Sims at Evolve in um, Singapore because Heath Sims uh, used to run mm-hmm. uh, Dan Henderson's gym, moved out there, and he's just he's creating a bunch of killers at Evolve MMA. What's up, Heath? Uh, so Tarek Safadine and Lim. It's going to be a great fight. Oh, uh, boy. That'll, That'll be, be good. a really good fight. And so the next time we meet, we'll be breaking down the Aldo and uh, Oh, that, that card. card looks great. Two title fights. Yeah. That card looks great. So until next time, visit MMAthehardway.org and follow us on Twitter. And Happy New Year. Happy New Year.